Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to go about getting fundamental data using interactive brokers. Now, according to their API, you can get a couple of different items such as financial ratios, analyst estimates, and the company overview. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to get the report snapshot. Within the script, you'll be able to get the rest of the reports as raw data, but I haven't yet built a wrapper to clean the data and have it return nicely into R. So from this first report, I was able to pull total revenues and dividends per share. And this is how the clean data looks like. So we have the as of date, we have the report type, we have the period, the value, and then the type. And if you scroll down, you will see the total revenues. Let's go over the code to show you how to replicate this table. So here in our script, we're gonna require these packages. We're only going to require two functions. The first will get the data from interactive brokers. So we have to pass in our TWS connection along with the ID, the contract, and the report type. You can pass any of these reports and you'll be able to get the fundamental data. Now this does return raw values. So in order to fix these messages, I have built a function called fix message where we pass in the raw values and it returns the table. Now, since most of these reports are of different length, I can't use the same function to clean the data. So it's still a work in progress, but as soon as I find a stable solution, I'll probably post these and upload them on Patreon. Let's take a look at this first function to understand the process. So in order to receive the messages for fundamental data, we have to create a template where we are requesting fundamental data and also passing in our contract details and the report type. We're going to pass that message via the port number. We're going to create an e wrapper and then we're going to listen in and collect the messages. After we receive the message, we're going to go ahead and process the message and return that raw value. Now let's take a look at how we fix the messages. So in the second function, we're going to pass in our raw value. The first thing we need to extract are the node names. So if you recall from our table, we have dividends per share and total revenues. So within the messages for this report, we will have two nodes, which are these two. So we'll dig through the HTML and extract those nodes. Now for each of the node names, we're gonna pass them in. We're gonna extract the data, which are the actual values and the field names, which in this report are these three, but these get returned as attributes. So we need to do a bit of formatting to extract those values. I return these fields as a data frame and then combine it with my actual values. And then I add a column for the type. So it'll return a table for each of the node names. And after we return the table for each of the node names, we're going to row bind our results and return it as a data frame. So we'll go ahead and minimize this and run these two functions. I have my workstation open, so I'm going to establish a connection via this port number. So I'll go ahead and run that line. So I'm going to require the report snapshot for Apple. The value gets returned as a character. So now we need to use our second function to clean the data. You may get different results depending on whether you ran this during market hours or after hours. Since it is after hours, the message it returned are some ratios. So if we take a look at fund data out in the console, we now see three values, which are the projected EPS for the quarter, the projected profit, and the projected DPS. Well guys, I hope this gives you a head start if you're trying to require fundamental data from interactive brokers. As I mentioned earlier, once I find a stable solution for all the reports, I'll be adding these to my Patreon. Well guys, this concludes the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.